So here we go. They work the perimeter. Shots up. Shots off. Rebound and run. The Mean Greens now running the four around one. Must be alert on that defensive end because guys get pinned and they can reject it. Both teams looking to get in a, a bit of a rhythm here. Out on the left wing. And it's blocked. Look at that block. Terrific reaction. And he can't get the bounce. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, thanks for joining us tonight. Gus Johnson here alongside Bill Rafter. On the right side. Fires. Squared up on the catch. Got his puppies in order. They may have him in some trouble here. He's trapped us. And they get the turnover. Jump shot. He can't get it to go. Pulls down the rebound. And he's fouled. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. Here's another solid junior build. Gus, you look at your juniors as third-year players who have been there. And as a coach, you can be lying in for their experience and ability to guide the less experienced players on the team. Makes the foul shot. Shots off. Kept alive, though. Offensive rebound. Shots off. Inside. Fires. He missed it. Pulls it down. On the outside. The fans are making a difference, Raph. This is a tough place to play. No. Ah, he got it up and in. You've got to be prepared when you go up against this team, Raph. Their pressure can be relentless at times. They love to pressure you full court. Well, you're right on top of that, Cus. They really like to force you into mistakes with their pressure. Get it down on the low block. with 10 to shoot now. And we'll get a change of possession. They set it up from the baseline. With a big shot. Off the mark. Look to outlet. In the paint. Call for the foul. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just gotta know when to back off. At the line. It's that. He 
got them both. The Bulldogs seem like they want to take the defensive pressure to the next level. Watch for some full court pressure, Gus. I'm curious to see how the pressure will be handled. We're at the eight minute mark. And he can't get the bounce. See the floor. He can get some easy fast breaks. Tup it inside. Put a little English on it. He knows how to operate down on the box, and he can step out and shoot the jump shot. A big fella who has a feel and can distribute the ball, make good passes, and can shoot it a bit from deep. Oh, what a tough out. The Bulldogs are really looking to turn up the pressure and perhaps tempo with this press bill. It looks like they want the tempo to be faster. This change will likely increase the pace of play. And we're back ready to get things going again after the timeout. Low block. Rejected. Shot's there if he wants it. Fires. The freshman. We are at the seven-minute mark. The Bulldogs are taking things to the next level with their extended pressure defense, Raph. An aggressive move on their part, Gus. They'll be looking to force some turnovers. He can't get it to go. Pulls it in. Receives the pass in the paint. Foul on the play. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just got to know when to back off. Coach, I realize we're still in the first half, but you can't perform like this during tournament games. If they don't watch it, they may get blown out. Well, I tell you what, Gus, it's about surviving and advancing. It's tough to stay close when you allow the opposition to get a double-digit lead early in the first half. No, not this time. On the outside. Jump shot, the junior. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the wing. In the lane. How about that? Huh? We are at the six minute mark. Turnover committed by the senior. In the post. Look at that block. Terrific. Do they need a timeout here, Rat? Gus, they definitely need a timeout. They've lost their composure. He hits it.
out on the right wing. He shoots from outside. Oh! When he gets the ball, he usually ends up in the basket. This kid is a big-time scorer. This guy is really a proficient scorer. He really finds ways to put up points. He missed it. Snatches the board. Looking for a good shot. And he lays it up and in. Out on the way. He shoots from the corner. And hits. The Bulldogs are taking things to the next level with their extended pressure defense, Raph. An aggressive move on their part, Gus. They'll be looking to force some turnovers. They work it around the perimeter. Four minutes left on the game clock. Cut back door and receive the pass. Boy, well-timed backdoor cuts. They're just pretty to watch, Gus. Not to mention the finish. He shoots from the left of the circle. The sophomore. He was determined to get to the rim. A nice job getting to the hole. A gutsy take. I like that mentality. Turnover. They'll go the other way. In the post. Fires. Shots off. Gets the board. They work the perimeter. Three minutes left on the game clock. Careless mistake there. Now looking to attack. No. Off the mark. What a coach will be happy with that effort. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. And he can't get the bounce. Up and in. Ha ha! The Bulldogs seem like they want to take the defensive pressure to the next level. Watch for some full court pressure, Gus. I'm curious to see how the pressure will be handled. Two minutes left on the game clock. Looking for a good shot. Can't get it to go. That's a good stop defensively. One shot and get it out. Feed the low post. He missed it. Oh, a competitive Gus. He gets the rejection. Here they go in transition. In the paint. Down the lane. Finger roll. So easy. The Bulldogs seem like they want to take the defensive pressure to the next level. Watch for some full court pressure, Gus. I'm curious to see how the pressure will be handled. Around a minute remaining. No. On the wing. Shots up. And it's in. The Bulldogs are making an adjustment defensively. Looks like they're going to apply additional pressure defensively. It's a great decision if you have the players to play full court pressure defense, Gus. You need stamina, though. It's not an easy defense to play for extended periods of time.
throws go. May be in some trouble. And we're going the other way. And let's take a look at a player who's been all over the court. He's been excellent, Gus. He's seen really focused coming into this game, and he's shiny. Has almost single-handedly put his team in a position to win this game. In the post. Jump shot. Off the mark. Get out and fill. Way out on the right wing. Change of possession. This guy is really known as a power guy. When he gets it that deep in Mona Box, there's not much you can do. Say goodnight. Up next, the road to the final four. Please stay tuned. Here is a look at how the numbers stack up for each team here today. We can see here how both teams are doing with the keys they identify at the outset. talked about the pressure of NCAA tournament play and here it is in the second half and you know it's building on both of these teams. You know what I think is really impressive here tonight Gus is the fact that both of these clubs are focused on each possession. The level of concentration is where you'd expect it to be during the tournament. They work it around the perimeter. Outlet. Inside. This guy is a complete player in the post. He's one of those type of post players who can get it done in a variety of ways. In the paint, from 12 to 15, he can knock it down, passes it a little. A skilled player with a great head for the game. On the left side. Fires. And he can't get the bounce. Out on the wing. With 10 to shoot now. In the paint. Ah, he got it up and in. The Bulldogs have controlled the tempo here. Gotta love the way they've come out here and really focused on their game plan. They've done a good job making sure the game is being played at their pace. On the way. Shots off. Give me that. on the left wing. Put a little English on it. They 
work the perimeter. And he lays it up and in. The Bulldogs are doing a great job of controlling the pace of this game. I'll tell you, if you make the opposition play at your pace, it can really get them out of their comfort zone. They work it around the perimeter. It's stolen away. On the baseline. Watch out. Bang. The Bulldogs are really looking to turn up the pressure and perhaps tempo with this press build. It looks like they want the tempo to be faster. This change will likely increase the pace of play. Pushes it. He fires away. Good. Around eight minutes remaining on the game clock. The Bulldogs seem like they want to take the defensive pressure to the next level. Watch for some full court pressure, Gus. I'm curious to see how the pressure will be handled. In the post. He can't get the hoop to fall. Out on the right wing. Jump shot. Shots off. Grabs the rebound. Dump it inside. Shot clock shows 10. We are at the seven-minute mark. He lets it go. Nice buck. That's a fantastic example of penetration with the kick out. Well, whenever the ball is driven to the hoop, guys, perimeter players need to get open and be visible. After that, it's all about getting the puppy set and knocking it down upon the reception of the pass. They work the perimeter. Fires. He can't get it to go. They should look to push it now. A little woo-woo, Gus. Nice pass to the low block. The shot won't fall. minutes left on the game clock on the left side jump shot no takes the board out on the left wing in the lane the freshman gotta love a player who consistently knocked down that mid-range jumper the Bulldogs are making an adjustment defensively. Looks like they're going to apply additional pressure defensively. It's a great decision if you have the players to play full court pressure defense, Gus. You need stamina, though. It's not an easy defense to play for extended periods of time. Shots off. They get the offensive rebound and put back. Once again, nobody checked out. That coach is going to be beside himself. Looking for a good shot. Turns it over. Bill, the first half was ugly, and now the second half is shaping up to be a one-sided affair as well. This one's basically a done deal. Well, it's not going to change. They jumped on them right away. They executed. They came out and played with a purpose. It's so unfortunate the other club just didn't follow suit. I hate to say it, but I think this one is over. The Bulldogs seem like they want to take the defensive pressure to the next level. Watch for some full court pressure, Gus. I'm curious to see how the pressure will be handled. On the outside. 
and lays it in. Now they work it around the perimeter. We're at the four minute mark. And we have a change of possession here. Rap, it's been a great team effort for these guys. Every player who's stepped onto the court has been really focused, which makes it extremely tough for the opposition. This type of teamwork is fantastic to watch. from the right of the circle. It won't fall. Out on the way. Three minutes left on the game clock. Tough it inside. And he can't hit the shot. On the left side. Fires. He can't get the bucket to fall. Now they work it around the perimeter. Buries it. The Bulldogs are taking things to the next level with their extended pressure defense, Rap. An aggressive move on their part, Gus. They'll be looking to force some turnovers. No. Defensive rebounds are essential to a running team. We are at the two-minute mark. Way out on the right wing. Jump shot. He gets it to fall. The Bulldogs look like they want to use their defense to speed up the tempo in this game. Well, pressuring in the full court is a great tactic if you have the personnel, Gus. Otherwise, it's an ill-advised play on the defensive end. You've got to know your strengths and stick to them. Got it in the low block. He blocks the shot.
chance for one and the bonus. Got it! He missed it. Gets the rebound. On the left side. Heat check time from long range. He gets the shot to fall. And I think that's his disqualifying foul. The Bulldogs are a poor free throw shooting team coach. Boy, that is a bad characteristic to have. The Bulldogs look like they want to use their defense to speed up the tempo in this game. Well, pressuring in the full court is a great tactic if you have the personnel touch. Otherwise, it's an ill-advised play on the defensive end. You've got to know your strengths and stick to them. Out on the right wing, he puts up the tray. Outside, Jay won't go. It's all about shot selection, Gus. It's so important to take good shots, and not necessarily the shot the defense wants you to take. On the right side. get a change of possession. With the big shot. And he misses the shot. We've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, when you take a close look at this victory, it came down to execution. We say it all the time, but these guys did a terrific job of getting stops at the defensive end and scores at the offensive end. All right, that's a wrap for my partner, Bill Raftery. I'm Gus Johnson saying good night.